Surrounded by his former Warrior teammates and his new defense team, Latrell Sprewell offered a public apology for attacking his coach, but insinuated that he was provoked and insisted that the one-year ban by the NBA is too severe. I never really got a chance to tell my side of the story. There were times where I reached out and tried to reach out to try to rectify the situation here at Golden State. I was willing to meet with the team and the league after, after being suspended, and it just seemed like no one wanted to hear what I had to say. My career didn't happen overnight, and I don't think that it should have been taken away from me overnight. Among those who contend the punishment is too severe is Johnny Cochran, the lead lawyer in the legal team that got O.J. Simpson acquitted on double murder charges, who says the Warriors and the NBA overstepped their bounds. Well, I, I think that you have to consider all of those things, but I think right now we're trying to say he was not treated fairly, without a hearing, without anything else, and the matter's going to be arbitrated. And I think that many of the questions that we're asking today will come out in the course of this arbitration. What do you hope, what's your best case scenario you hope will happen when you go before arbitration? That he'll be reinstated. And he'll be able to play this year. And he'll be able to play this year, I think so. For a player who admitted attacking his coach and verbally threatening to kill him, Latrell Sprewell is receiving a lot of attention with a mention of a possible boycott of the NBA All-Star Game by the Players Union. Uh, he should apologize. He was wrong. Uh, but I think our player union, uh, they have gotten our message loud and clear. They're not going to let them take all that kid's money. If we have to boycott the All-Star Game, the World Championships, or anything, we're going to make sure he gets his money back because he deserves it. Unfortunately, I think that this incident is, is a black eye for everybody. I think it's a black eye for, for Latrell. It's a black eye for PJ, for the Warriors. Uh, for the union and for the NBA. And the question is, you know, who's going to suffer the greatest damage? Several hours after the press conference, the NBA issued a formal statement refuting Latrell Sprewell's contention that he was not allowed to give his side of the story. The NBA says 23 interviews by the security department were held, including one with Mr. Sprewell, and also that Billy Hunter did not formally request a hearing before the league. 